Revelio. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Satarissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But... I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, Boobachuba Pus. Boobachubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are Boobachubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that Boo a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobachuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobachubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boo Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourselves, though. Let's have you live here alive. Revenio. For you, getting all those foul goblins a hiding. Lumos. Shall we burn gear and a thrash into a troll? Oh, I can't believe it! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lumos. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Meet, here I come. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? Revelio! Revelio.
Just my luck, troll. Smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. I'd better get back to Zacharissa now.
Revelio. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Sakarissa, I found the boot with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Someone died here. Aye, fortunate really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well, let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure. Say we show you some of what's available. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by. Revelio.
rotten into the lolly house uninvited with a proper rude thing to do. Rebellion. 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 Lumos. Rebellion.
Revelio. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching, although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Rebellion! Lumos! Revelio. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Lumos. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. He didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honour her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. 
I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I... Good bring them! It was you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Revelio! Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Confringo! Three is better than two. Simple mathematics. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My Lumos! Favorite. No comment. Come on, that Rebellion. was good. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. Repairer! The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice of... Lumos. Revelio. The voice is ancient, sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... never mind. Revelio! There's no clear way forward. Like the journal this. entry. Salazar Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Life. He wanted this to be different. Gaunt. So, Ominous. Oh, the door we came from, it closed. Confringo! The gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Our Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. This is looking rather dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. Rebellio. We're in a maze, designed by Salazar Slytherin. Confringo! Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. 
Nice work. Revelio. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Lumos, poor Aunt Noctua. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a minute, Sebastian. That's Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Revelio. Lumos. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Lumos! She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but... Also rewards. Painful. That's the part Lumos. I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Another... Not the welcoming sword, was he? The dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Lumos. Excellent work. We're another Lumos. step closer to the scriptorium. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This Rebellion. Whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop. Confringo. Rebellion. Confringo. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Accio! Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped in.
locked by an unforgivable curse. Revelios. That's where she died. This is where we'll Can die. Bring I shouldn't have listened to our cases. Ominous. I'm truly sorry. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. survive. Uh, let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Revelio. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. 
What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Revelio! Find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Ominous. About your aunt. Please. Rebellious. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to hogs. You're back. Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
Lumos.
Not sure how it. Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Revelio. Mine now, dummy guys. Revelio. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. A 
I hope to see you again sometime. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would... Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Revelio. An encampment. This must be it. Revelio. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Revelio. I didn't touch your helm, but thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. My friends are now, don't I? Revelio. Ah, wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Patricus Totalis. Revelio.
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revenio. What was that? Well, something better now. That was quite something. Now, to free arms cards. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Rebellion. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? 
I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickel. We will bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickel. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Revelio. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that this cannot stop. Your and High Wing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. 
Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would Rebellion. have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Revelio. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Rebellion. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see festivals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first festival shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Rebellion! Rebellion. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. 
I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss her. My father was a wonderful man. I... Let Rebellion. us go. We must find Archie. children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Archie. The oh, trick is to tell us that. They can be any mistakes. Why break oh. Don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. Petrificus Totalus. Revelio. Oh. Uh. 
Rebellion. Rebellion. Please, your help. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Rebellion. to get this open. Alohomora.
Revelio. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother, oh mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Revelio! 